Oops. There you go. Um, this one also comes with a lid, so you can cover it on there before you put it in the freezer. It keeps, you know, any like odors or anything that's sort of like lingering in your freezer out. Um, it's also BPA free. It is dishwasher safe. It is, um, you know, it's it's not gonna like leak any parabens. So there you go. So you see that in. I like to put a little garnish, a little kind of like herbaceous herb in it. So I got some basil leaves and I'll just kind of slide them in there and you can just kind of like rub it around the glass, give it a little bit of an essence on the glass. All right, so you tuck it in. Next up, I'm gonna do, I like silver tequila. This is my new obsession, Tepazon. It's excellent tequila, it has no additives. I had three Palomas the other night and I did not have a hangover. So, you know, it's good. And we'll do, we'll do one and a half ounces. Why not? Put that in. Let me grab a little grapefruit juice. I went to the farmer's market this morning. There's one really close to my house and I feel like I always hear about people taking slow mornings. I don't know if anyone else does out there. Give me a little thumbs up if you do. It's nice having a slow And then our gorgeously cut limes, just squeeze that in. All right. I like to use a wooden spoon. Just turn it around in there. And there you go. So yeah, with cocktails, I mean, look, we've all, I think anyone who drinks, who's been stuck in their house the last year and a half, I think has gotten pretty good at making their own cocktails. Nothing beats having a drink made for you, but I think we've all kind of learned how to <laughs> make the cocktails at home and to treat ourselves. The thing I like about making a simple cocktail like that too, is you can make a large batch of it, put it in a little pitcher like this one. Excuse me. Keep it on your table. And like a nice tip too that I always suggest is putting herbs and everything, it's gonna just give it a little extra something. I mean, garnish is gorgeous, you know, now that your knives are really perfectly sharpened, you could even just slice a little bit like that, right? And pop it in, nice and thin. And of course, you can rim your glass. I am team no salt on my margaritas, so that's how I'm gonna have mine. Okay, so we made the margarita, we still got some time. I got some other stuff to show you. So, Maybe you have guests who are coming who don't want hard liquor. You're going to do wine, right? Do you have the right tools to serve? And beyond glasses, there are other things that can kind of up your wine game at home. So one of the things that was on my registry that I got was this gorgeous rabbit, or it's RBT, but it is the, it's rabbit um, wine decanters. This one I love. It's a great 